Welcome back YouTube to my first ever playthrough of Mass Effect 3. This is only the second day we're playing and my only task right now is to go and meet with the council and let them know what just happened on earth and give them a full debrief. Historically my meetings with the council have not went well but I did save them in the first game so surely they're going to be helpful. Right? <laughs> Thank you so much for being here and let's just get straight into it. I think Caden was in here. No, how? Why? I swear I have no sense of direction. Where is he? There he is. Let me in. They won't let me in. And I've noticed as well that we've changed from the over the shoulder shot to the more classic third person view now. I wonder is it when we go into combat that we switch to the th over the shoulder shot? All right, where are we going here? The journal says. The Council must be informed of the Reaper threat and the Prothean device that may be able to stop the Reapers. Go to Councillor Udina's office on the Citadel and convince the Council to send help for the fight against the Reapers. Okay, so we need to go to Udina's office. I love how every time we come to the Citadel it looks completely different. So two, we need to go down the corridor and on the right. Got it. Donnell Udina. Commander, Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. Oh no. We've got oh our own no, we're back council. here again. Earth is not in this alone. Isn't this where we but saw Earth Karen? Was the first Karen. Council world hit by our Saren. reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. Commit. By your reports. The reports are accurate. We're back. Earth was attacked by the Reapers. And it's just the beginning. Oh, she knows we how to help. deliver a speech, Everything doesn't she? You can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. Come on. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. It's everyone. It's not we just Earth. We must fight this enemy together. Okay, and Udina. So we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? Yes. I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? Oh, he's We're the worst, I think. It together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scale is... It would be a colossal undertaking. Like the Death Star, essentially. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hackett. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Nice. Our initial calculations so you just need to come and help. it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Exactly. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? Why are they always pushing back on everything component. I say? Here, something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Catalyst. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? Oh, I always like to give them a little bit of renegade flair. So do you have a better plan, Turian? It sure as hell beats standing around and arguing about it. And while I haven't always agreed with Udina, he's right about this. Yay. We need to stand together now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop it, Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. Is he shaking his the head? The and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare. <gasps> we are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. Shepard, meet me in my office. What the frig? I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. Damn, Shepard. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the council. Exactly, yeah. They're not even taking into account that we're on the council rate. now. How can they be so blind? They're scared and they're looking out for themselves. Our people are scared. Oh, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Weird. Counselor. Commander. 
I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. He knows? I'm listening. Primarch Fedorian called the War Summit, but we lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavan. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Fedorian undetected. Primarch Fedorian. I warned you. What is she talking about? No, I'm going to say I don't see how this helps me. So far, you've only explained how I can help you. It might seem that way. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future. The fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. Is a Primarch You're a person? And you want me to play politician? We have to save if someone? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? <laughs> our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavan's largest moon. Sounds like Matriarch. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. He's given me a task. There is one other thing. The council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen <gasps> to uphold your Yay! spectre status. And various Fantastic. resources will be made available to you. Good day. Good day, Tyrion. Well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Where's Captain Thanks. Dad? We left him back on Earth, I think, didn't we? Okay, so the priority now is Palavan to save the Primarch. Let me read the journal. Primarch Fedorian of the Turian Hierarchy has called a war summit that presents an opportunity for the Alliance to request help building the Crucible. Unfortunately, Fedorian was caught in the Reaper attack on Palavan, rescue the Turian Primarch from Palavan's moon. Okay, so he is sort of like in charge of the Turian hierarchy, which maybe is like their government. But yeah, I mean, let's let's go get him. He's the top dog in the event of the Turian War. Okay, so he's he is uh, the MVP of the Turians. Got it. Oh, I see her. I see her. Oh, looks so good. Excuse me. Looks so good. Looks better than ever. Oh, wow. But there's loads of people around, but they're Who's that? Ma'am, I can't say when we're deploying or where or why. Is she a reporter? Normandy, right? Uh oh. What's going on here? Are you Commander, a reporter? Just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. I don't have the greatest track record with reporters. I was literally about to say know, that. And it hasn't exactly endured you to a galactic audience, but that can change. I'm a military reporter with a show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. No. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. She is, she does kind of have a point. security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that? Or do I keep looking? I don't know if I want her on the ship, but she does have a point. I don't trust the, uh, the reporters. I feel like I shouldn't say no, though. We could do a trial run. Tell your producers yes for now. We'll see how it works out. I don't know if I'm going to regret that. the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One footlocker. Aye, aye, Commander. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. We'll see how that goes. War asset acquired, Diana Allers. Oh, she's a war asset. What? Let's go to the Normandy and see what's up. We haven't been onto the Normandy yet. Oh, what's happening? We're having a dream? <gasps> no, Shepard, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. That's so sad. Uh oh. Child. 
Donald, come back! Just disappeared. Shepherd feel guilty about that? There's nothing she could have done. I hope this is just a nightmare. Obviously it's a nightmare, but... <laughs> No! Oh, Shepherd! Oh, bless her. That's sad. Those angry eyebrows. Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. We'll go get him then. Come on, let's go. I know. Are you all right? Uh, we can open up to Liara. I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? Oh! Caden getting hurt. I need to set a boundary with Liara here just to reinforce that her and I are not a thing. Caden almost died on Mars. People around me have a tendency to get hurt. Or worse. Caden's a soldier. He knows the risks, as do you. And he's a fighter. He'll pull through. I hope so. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard, I'm Specialist... An Englishwoman. Oh, uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. Trainer. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Com Specialist Samantha Trainer with Samantha Alliance Trainer. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. Wow, okay. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. New character, an English woman named Samantha. We love that. It's okay. Slow down, specialist trainer. You're doing fine. Bless Thank her. You. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. I recognize her voice. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top of the line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command. That's my fish tank behind you. That's there. no longer fish. an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Okay. Got it, Edie. Got it. Wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Because she's our friend. AI. She's part of Holy the crew. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI <laughs> to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, ED. And oh. I apologize for all those times I talked about how mm, attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall That's I understandable. Give you a I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. Ooh. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel war and room. war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Had a few changes here. Finally, I like it. It looks great. Set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on deck three. I think she's claimed that room. Fair and enough. There you are. Still the same ship as before. It just flies Alliance colors. Yay! Now. No more Cerberus. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. Okay. There he is. Commander. Udina updated me on your meeting with the council. Sounds like they're running scared. Hmm. I'm just gonna say they're useless. The council's been a pain in my ass from day one. 
I'm done with them. Then what's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the council and appeal directly to their leadership. Oh, Shepard. That's good. I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What okay. about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it. And if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. So the goal is to we build the device, but we need people to ally ourselves with. Okay. Buy us time to figure out the device. And time. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. Okay, I feel like I'm getting hints here on what we have to do. We need to make it strong, so we need to focus again, like we did in Mass Effect 2, on our upgrades and getting everything in check. Um, what about Earth? What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen. Make Commander. it so, he says. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. Whew. Nobody's mentioned my boyfriend yet. Who's this? You're not my boyfriend. War terminal. What? The people, weapons, armies, and fleets that you've accumulated are your war assets. The overall readiness of the galaxy determines how effectively these assets will perform in the final battle. Oh shit, okay. Right, so the Systems Alliance represents humanity's economic, political, and military reach throughout the galaxy. Its naval forces are led by Admiral Stephen Hackett. Alliance is the war asset, and then within the Alliance there is the Engineering Corps, the Marine Division, the First Fleet, Third Fleet, Fifth Fleet, Diana, who we just recruited from the Citadel, the Normandy, Mineral Resources. But the total military strength right now is not hitting the minimum that we need, so we need to bulk up the war assets, I guess. Yeah, I'm glad we picked up Diana. I was a little bit suspect of her there. I feel like we should go and um, go and visit Joker. The ships definitely had some upgrades. The Alliance have took it back. Come on, Sarah. Let me through. Little hidden loading screen. Oh, he has a door on his orders now. Interesting. Hello. Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. <laughs> You're surprised? They've spent years denying the threat. You think they'd be prepared now? I was kind of hoping that maybe they were planning in secret and just not telling you about it because, you know, Cerberus. Mm -hmm. Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them, you know, for old time's sake. Yes, like the good old days. Airlock? No, don't open the airlock. That would be silly. Wait, this is where trainer works? Where's Kelly? Where, is Kelly retired? Commander, come to check on your new recruit. Just wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. Let's see where this is going. While I was working on the Normandy's upgrades. I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. Oh yeah, you're right. Kelly was Cerberus, of course. So of course she's not here anymore. Oh, I would have had her though. Could have helped you. Next time you need something, just ask. You're not alone here. I'm not a, like a regular oh, mom. I'm a cool it's mom. It's no trouble, Commander. I'm sure you have larger concerns. We can put in a requisition order. My toothbrush is a Scission Promark 4. It uses tiny Mass Effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. Okay. It costs 6,000 credits. Okay, yeah. You're on your own with that. <laughs> in any event, I appreciate you giving me the chance to stay. Was there anything else? Tell me about your personal history, Samantha. Where are you from originally? A colony in the Terminus systems, actually. Though I studied on Earth, at Oxford. My parents were from London. They loved Earth, but they wanted the freedom a colony life could offer, even if that freedom has its share of danger. If I recall correctly, you grew up on Mindwar. Yes, you're right, Mindwar. Will Samantha feed my fish? Given what happened to Earth, I don't think we can count on anywhere being safe right now. Quite true, Commander. 
When did you join the military then? I do end up in the military anyway. My family didn't have money for university. When the Alliance saw my aptitude scores, like they offered her. me a full scholarship. I served my required years after graduation and decided to stay. I really like the challenges of the lab. Al although, I'm sure I'll grow to love frontline service as well. Yeah, bless her. She's all awkward and a little bit nervous around Shepard. I hope she grows to feel more relaxed around us, I think. I think that'll, that's what we're going to see here. I'm surprised you're worrying about a toothbrush. We got bigger <laughs> problems right now. Oh, believe me. Dental hygiene Seeing is always important, Shepard. But I won't help anybody by bursting into tears here in the CIC, will I? Being here on the Normandy helps. If anyone in the galaxy can stop the Reapers, it's you. And if flagging your messages and managing strategic intel helps you in any way... She just way, wants to help out. it's worth it. What about this lab job, You then? worked in Alliance R&D? Yes. You'd think quantum entanglement would make communication easy, but imagine incorporating multiple incoming sources and then networking them with extrapolations of time lag data to construct a coherent situation GUI. It's an exciting challenge. Um, for me, anyway. Oh, bless her. She's nice. Okay, we're, we're Team Very Samantha. Oh, I have loads of messages to read. Mission Eden Prime. God, that's where we went on the in Mass Effect 2, right? We went to Eden Prime. Cerberus has attacked Eden Prime and is now occupying the colony. Alliance forces are stretched too thin right now to attempt to liberate the colony, but we've been doing what we can to covertly aid the local resistance. It was Mass Effect 1, was it? Oh, I'm getting confused. Oh yeah, Eden Prime is where we... That was like the first mission, right? I know, I remember now. Where we found the Prothean Beacon and where we lost Jenkins, RIP. Moment of silence for Leroy Jenkins, everyone. All right. In the process, we've learned that Cerberus has uncovered a major Prothean artifact. We don't know what it is, but it appears to be the reason for the attack on the colony. We need you to infiltrate the colony and recover the artifact. I can do that. You have an upgrade waiting from Glyph. Some of the data you found allowed me to research an upgrade for you. Simply access the terminal in Dr. Tassoni's office at your convenience and you may choose how and when to implement it. A welcome back gift from Edie! While we were in dry dock, Joker suggested that a small welcoming gift would be appropriate to have on hand should you be reinstated as commanding officer. As the ship does not have the capacity to accommodate the dancers, he suggested, I chose something from the Official Systems Alliance catalogue. Soldiers who have held an N7 designation for five years or more are entitled to a commemorative hooded jacket for wear on off-duty hours. You will find it among the selection of casual clothing in your cabin. That's so funny because a few days ago, I ordered myself an N7 hoodie and it's gonna arrive sometime this week. So we'll get that. It's from a brand called Insert Coin Clothing. And I think they must collaborate with loads of different game developers because they recently brought out a Witcher range and they're gonna be bringing out a cyberpunk range as well. But yeah, they have a small collection of Mass Effect stuff and I ordered myself their N7 hoodie when it was on sale the other day. So I'll post pictures of that when it arrives. I, I don't think I have been N7 for five years though. So yeah, I had to buy it rather than being gifted it. <laughs> Okay, this is a news article. Okay, the Citadel, where is the Quarian fleet? The latest intelligence shows that the Reapers are taking system after system at a feverish pace. Members of all races are fleeing their stations, colonies, and in some cases, their home worlds. This kind of forced exodus might seem especially familiar to the nomadic Quarians who were pushed off their home world by the synthetic Geth centuries ago. But as the galaxy pushes back against the Reapers, the Quarians are conspicuously absent. Turian and Alliance spokespeople cannot provide the fleet's current location. They say they have other concerns at the moment. Okay, so where's Tally? Whatever the Quarians are up to, they want it kept secret from the Council. After a refueling stop at Ilium, the fleet left no stated destination. And there are also reports of a galaxy-wide call for all young adult Quarians to abandon their pilgrimages to rejoin the fleet. Okay, so they're pulling all the, the Quarians back to the fleet. Interesting. Greedy and short-sighted powers will always try to gain the upper hand in times of galactic crisis. We can only hope that whatever the Quarians are planning does not interfere with the only thing that should matter, and that is stopping the Reapers. Subject, my dog. God, what's this gonna be? I was a contractor working on the Normandy's haptic interface when it was in dry dock. Your VI, ED, mm -hmm, VI, emailed me to let me know that I left my dog mech on board. I'm all the way out in Terra Nova now and would hate for you to go a million clicks out of your way to drop off my dog. 
please just take care of her. She likes exploring, sniffing chemical trails and 750 volt outlets. Thank you and sorry for the trouble. I promise she won't be too much of a headache. Andrea Brown. We have a dog on board. Okay, we need to find the dog. Does it have a name? Reinstatement from Stephen Hackett. Here we go. This letter formally acknowledges your reinstatement into the Alliance Navy per Admiral David Anderson's recent verbal communication. Yay, we got our job back. Special ops. Okay, last one. Alliance forces are stretched thin across the galaxy. We need your specific talents for a series of ops. These missions will open doors for the Alliance in places we can't touch through conventional means. We'll deploy operatives to hold point after you've completed your objectives. I need you to head to a Cerberus lab on the planet Sanctum. I'll brief you when you're inbound. Okay, so we have a lot of jobs, a lot of jobs to do. Did anything drop into my journal there? Aha, so, okay. So we have priority missions and then we have other missions, which I guess are not priority. I'm guessing priority means like main mission. That's what I'm guessing. The priority at the moment, I think I'm gonna start with Eden Prime. Let's go back to where we started this whole thing. Hopefully we can find Manuel and apologize uh, for knocking him out when he was trying to warn us about all this, this bullshit. So Cerberus has discovered a Prothean artifact on Eden Prime, land on the planet to recover the artifact. Yes, sir. Now, let's see if we can just have a wander around the ship first. Ah, there used to be a door here. That's where Jacob worked, so it's gone now. So. Captain's cabin is still on the top floor. We're currently on CIC. Got the crew deck, engineering, and shuttle bay. Let's see if we can, is anybody on the crew deck right now? Ship looks different. This is where Thane used to hang out. Are you still in here, boyfriend? No! His cup of coffee's still there. Interesting. Kasumi used to hang out in here. Oh, they've changed it. They've got a bar, but they've given us a little poker table. That's cute. No Kasumi though. Okay. Samara used to hang out down here. No Samara in here. Oh, wow. Richard L. Jenkins, no! Another moment of silence for Richard L. Jenkins and Ashley Williams. Who else is on here? I don't like that they've left so many gaps on this memorial wall that are they're expecting so many more people to die. Oh, Ashley's on there. That makes me sad. Is Commander Presley on there? Yes, Charles Presley. Sad. Let's see. Is Chuck was here? Yay! Her hair Come has on, gotten grayer. Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked but it's still my old med bay. Feels like home. Good. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time. If I may, I'd like to examine you. Why? Nothing wrong with me, is there? No, but we should keep an eye on all those cybernetic implants oh, fair that were grafted into you. Expensive stuff bringing me back. And worth every penny. Oh, that's Let's nice. Let's just make sure everything is okay. Fair enough. Go off. Go for it. never hurts. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. Good. Your implants are showing little sign of rejection. I'm all good. Just keep up that positive outlook of yours, Commander, and your scars shouldn't return. Oh, she's That's telling it. me. Don't be renegade. You're the picture of health. I think I got away without any scars in Mass Effect 2 because I ended up being quite good in you the end. You never mentioned any of your family. None to speak of, really. I'm the last of a prestigious line of medical professionals. The Alliance is my spouse, and you are all my children. Oh, that's kind. I'm blessed with many close friends. But with each Alliance vessel taken, I lose one or two. We need to end Dr. this Dr. Chakwas looks good. What do you think of Cerberus then? Do you ever regret working for Cerberus? We didn't work Damn, for them. Dr. Chakwas. We used them. If I were to feel anything, it would be guilt. We took their money took their best people, took their best ship. We used them to defeat the Collectors, and now we are using their resources against them. <laughs> so no, I don't regret it one bit. Have you got all the supplies you need? Of meds? The med bay was fully stocked before you left Earth. We should be good for a long time, even given the amount of fire you take each day. Okay, around, Doctor. that's enough. Take care, Shepard. So Legion used to live in here. 
who's, oh, this is the, the woman that nearly killed my boyfriend. She looked like she was like made out of stone or something. It was quite weird. Where is Gerber? The way Shepard runs is so funny, but I'm glad that it's it doesn't shake the screen anymore. Garrus is gone. My whole crew's been reassigned, I guess. This used to be where Miranda worked. Who's that? Wow. This is Liara's new room, I think. Commander Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. What is this? You're the drone from the Shadow Broker ship. Ah. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph instead of Info Drone 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful There's a lot data, to learn with this game, isn't there? I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. Thank you, Glyph. I hope Glyph and Edie get on. Oh my god, you're right there. Hello. Looks Old like friend. You more than just that drone from your Why has she got so many screens? She is the ultimate necessary. gamer slash content creator. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Did the Protheans finish it? Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? She said already you that they it, didn't. Will it work? They just they needed the catalyst. They would their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. Yeah, we do need to know a bit more about it, I think. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. I should keep Absolutely. waving her hands. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. People were finally starting to listen before the Reapers came. If we'd had a little more time, maybe Earth wouldn't. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to talk about it. No, I appreciate you asking. The thought means a lot, Liara. Thanks. You're welcome. And since I didn't mention it before, it's good to be back, Shepard. It is nice to have her back. Oh, she disappeared. Oh, she's there. Okay. So this is where Miranda used to work, and now Liara has commandeered it as her new office slash bedroom quarters. We love that for her. And all of her computers. Thank you for the data packet. The results are available on the information network terminal. Oh, so this is where I'm going to do my upgrades. I guess Morden isn't on board anymore then. I don't have any upgrades right now. I have an armor mod kit. So we can... That's Tally. Why was she doing there? So we've got an ammo capacity bonus or a shield strength. I want to use the mod kit to upgrade my shields. Perfect. Okay. Now my chef's not here. I guess he was Cerberus too. I hope we can get some of the old gang back together. So that's the crew deck. Let's go down to engineering, see if anyone's around there. Ah! You've got rid of my garbage chute, lady! It's okay, I like you. How's your new assignment working out, Alars? Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Venezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. I like Diana, I'm glad Maybe we I decided to bring her along. Classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Get us support, girl. Tell people what's really happening on Earth. We need long recruiting lines on every planet after you air a story. I can do this, Commander. Remind me to tell you about the time I made an Elkor cry. What? I don't want to hear about that. She's got all these pictures on her board. Who are these people? All these missing people? Oh, that's sad. That is sad. So we are... Diana is basically going to make sure that we're getting real news out to the people. I love that. Tali, are you here? I hope we brought... No! I thought that we might at least bring Engineer Donnelly with us. We went back to save all those people from Cerberus, you know, in the final mission. And now they've abandoned me. I get it, they, do, they don't work for us. I get it. Or maybe it's nice to see Adams. 
Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the drive core retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR1 made me an Adams and choice. Tally used to get on, I think. So, what do you think of our SR2? Whoa. She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. Oh. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. Oh, that's okay. I appreciate the apology. I do. I do. Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I yeah. didn't trust that it was really you. I understand. I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Also, as an officer of the Alliance, I don't just leave my post, you know? I understand. Your Alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. Oh, I do miss, en miss Engineer Donnelly. Tell me about your family. Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance agricultural vessel. My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. Happy to report that both vessels are safely under Hackett's command. That's good. Does the new Normandy stack up to the old SR-1? <laughs> stack up? It blows the old ship away. It does, Tantless doesn't it? The drive core has been completely overhauled. The SR-2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new drive core is three times bigger. This Joker ship loves it. Fly. That said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would vent into engineering. Guess uh -oh, he has my that's team sus. incentive to keep her well balanced during a firefight. Do your job or get vaporized. Pretty much. I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers with cyclonic technology. Should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Yep. Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers. The IES stealth system is significantly improved. It can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means <laughs> we should be I was able thinking to drop the same thing, Shepard. Without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. But what do you think about Edie? What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. Good. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. Yeah, but I saw through her. <laughs> Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. Adams isn't, uh, And then there were the problems that kept slow. fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing She's it. watching you. expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. She's always I watching. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier he tried to get time. rid of her. But Joker seemed to trust her. And in time, I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. He likes her. All right, carry on, sir. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, ma'am. Okay. What about downstairs? I doubt Jack's still hanging out with us. She would have run as soon as she got the chance. Yep. She's not here. What is this? Model. Nice. I just heard a squeak. Ah! Space hamster! Come here! My hamster! What is it doing down here? All my models and the hamsters. Why is all my stuff down here? Get it, get it, get it! Why can't I get it? I got him. Whew. Why is all my stuff down here? Oh! Run's place is not... I'm on the wrong side. I oh, I told you, my bearings are bad. Where is my child? I can't even go in this room. This is where Grunt used to live. Damn it. He's probably living it up onto Chunka. Everybody wanted to mate with him. He's probably having the time of his life. Okay, who's down here? Cortez. Oh! oh is this a dog? Oh my god. Dog. Woof. Can I pet it? Hey, there. bad dog. No, no. I didn't say to say bad dog. Why did it say bad dog? Uh, oh, he's working out. Oh, is this James? Let's try and get to know James a little bit. Hey, Shepard. Hey, Shepard. 
How'd it go with the council? <clears throat> Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? <clears throat> yep. We're going to rescue a Turian Primarch from Palavan. Can you stop working out for a second, please? <sighs> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. <sighs> you come down here for something? Or are you just looking? I'm just <sighs> looking. I did just come to chat. But I might stay for the show. Shepard! <sighs> Have to work harder than that if you want me to blush. <sighs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> Not sure what there is to talk about. <sighs> you already know my service record. <sighs> I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. Stop doing pull-ups. Well. Okay, now we can talk. Think you can dance and talk at the same time? Excuse me? Did he just crack his knuckles at me? Oh, I can dance. Are we gonna fight? Okay, Lola. Let's do this. This is loco. This is very loco. Don't let my good looks fool you, Vega. I got my share of scars. Why are we fighting? <laughs> you remind me of my old CO. Oh, yeah? And who was <laughs> that? Captain Tony. Okay. He's a hard ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. Punch! Oh. <laughs> nice. What do you mean, was? Died. He but died, no. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. And the colony? This is loco. It was either them or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy them. I chose the intel. Wow. Sorry. That's a tough call. That is, that was, that's rough. The best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. He's got a nosebleed. Don't hit him you again. Were saving the galaxy by taking down the entire collector homeworld. Oh, so he's gonna blame me now. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? I do. You a shrink too? No, but that stunt back on Mars was reckless. Lucky to be alive. Oh! So? So. Maybe you don't care. Oh, yeah, he's being reckless. Die. He can't be well, reckless maybe. with my crew. I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war. Oh! Maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Okay. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Anytime. Hey. Thanks for the dance, Lola. It's Commander. I think he might like that. No nicknames, Lieutenant. Okay. Your ship, your rules. Your loss. I don't want to be cute with you, James. Commander. Commander. Exactly. That was a very normal conversation and interaction to have with my new crewmate. And my new dog. I can't interact with it, but okay. Who are these two? What are you guys up to? This seems very, very sus. Mm-hmm. They're definitely hooking up down there, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stop them. Let's go, give me that galaxy map music. Clusters already conquered by the Reapers can be accessed using the Normandy stealth drive. Search these clusters for survivors, salvage and valuable intel. Okay. Oh, wow, look. The Exodus Cluster is where Eden Prime is, I believe. Wow! Gee! The Normandy is equipped with a new and improved scanning pulse that can detect objects of interest. Use this to uncover war assets, artifacts, intel, and fuel as you fly around the system. Be aware, however, that each time the pulse is used, the chance that Reapers will enter the system to investigate is increased. Oh my god! Right, okay, so we've got all these other little planets to look at. There's Eden Prime. Meow. I 
found something. Oh, cool. Let's go investigate whilst we're here, I guess. A wreckage. Oh, well, we can't recover that because we already have full fuel, but that's cool. Okay, we know how it works now. We'll just go to Eden Prime. We've been here before, and I didn't like the ending. This is a very empty looking screen. Eden Prime. Where it all began. This is where it all I began. Know. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. All those years ago. And where you went up against Saren and the Geth for the first time, no? Correct. Yes. You heard and the now stories. The Cerberus here. Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. I remember it. Seems like more than just three years ago. Wow, that's how long it's been in game. A lot of dead civilians. Lost one of my men, <gasps> Jenkins, to a Geth drone. Oh, she Reports remembers him. Had bombs set up to wipe out the whole colony. He tried. Not on my watch. Damn straight. Cerberus hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere on the colony, but they killed everyone near the dig site. We'll try and help the people as much as we can. They deserve better. I know. The Alliance did what it could to evacuate colonists, but Cerberus came in so quickly. If we find survivors, we'll do what we can. What about this artifact? Is it part of the Prothean device we found on Mars? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. Agreed. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. Oh, I didn't speak to Cortez. No I think he must be... We should have a few minutes. Understood. Part of the pilot crew, I guess? Alright, everyone. Get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. God. No sign of survivors. Come on, we need to find the dig site. All right, James. This was a beautiful colony once. They came back after the Geth attack. They'll come back from this. Yeah, they look, now we're back to this over-the-shoulder shot. The same. They'll never forget. All we can hope is that they grow stronger for it. This looks like one of the places where we punched Manuel. Okay, it's all quiet. We've taken more able-bodied men and women from pacified neighborhoods. The colonists generally have accepted the story that they have gone to perform tedious but safe manual labor in a Cerberus research camp on the other side of the planet. And when we increase food rations as payment for the work, most of the complaints died out. Maintain the story as long as possible. We don't have the manpower to fight the entire colony. And if these families knew they were never going to see their sons and daughters again, there's no way they'd cooperate. Oh God. Shepard, this Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. Look at that. Bits of Prothean tech sticking out of the ground like an old bone. Hey, Liara, you ever find dinosaurs while you're digging around? No, dinosaurs and other fossils would be paleontology. I'm an archaeologist. <laughs> I study artifacts left by sapien species. The two fields are completely different, and... Uh, you you were joking. joking. Hey, I just like dinosaurs. There, that's the elevator that leads down into the dig site. Okay, let's go then. On it. That doesn't seem possible. She seems it's unnerved. It's not a Prothean artifact. It's... Dot, dot, dot. A Prothean? Oh! You mean a collector? Those things the Reapers turned the Protheans into? No. An original, unmodified Prothean who's still alive. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years. Oh shit, years. I don't think we've ever met Waiting one. For us. Think I'm of what we could learn. I'm very curious. What can you tell me about the Protheans? The people, not the technology. Given your experience with the Prothean Cypher, you probably know as much about them as I do. 
I don't feel like I know much about them at all. The known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. Uplifted, huh? Like when the Solarians helped the Krogan to evolve a little faster. Yes. Judging by the dig sites like the Prothean Archive on Mars or here on Eden Prime, the Protheans wanted other species to learn. It's clear that they prize knowledge, growth, and cooperation with the rest of the galaxy. It does sound a bit friendly, but I'm gonna say impressive. The way you describe them, they sound a lot like the Asari. Hmm. I'm certain I'm coloring their culture with my own perceptions. Whatever the Protheans were, finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. Well, I'm glad you're here, Liara. Good thing we brought our Prothean expert. I hope I can help. I like that if she still has her pink lipstick on. To stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. Ah. <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. No! The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. Leia we also is so need to smart, figure out isn't how she? to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. Uh oh, who's this? Whoa! Heads up! Go on, James, this is you. Oh, I wish I had my sniper. I only have a pistol? What? Ooh. Don't like that. Oh, they got me. Got him. All right, let's get moving before more of them come back. One, 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 one. Find the pod data. Local resistance is heavy in the south and west sections of the colony. We've pulled most of our troops from the north neighborhoods to assist. All remaining troops in the north neighborhood continue standard patrol activities to maintain the illusion of a large presence in that area. Okay. More intel to help the colonists. The more we find, the better chance they'll have. So we need to find more intel, is that what you're saying to me? Oh, salvage. Oops, God, I thought she was gonna run off there. The way she runs is so chaotic. I see you, little arrow, let's go. What are these things? Nice. Okay. Where's the last one? Let's be hiding somewhere. Let's go down the ladder. Oh, nice. They got me. So they must be protecting something in here then. Yes, there it is, the pod data. Let me in. What am I supposed to be doing here? Don't know what I'm supposed to be doing there. James. There. Oh, we got that it open. Lab found nice. Footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to figure out how to physically open the pod. Pod data. Oh, here we go. Is that gonna be it? Yes. Prothean? Oh. 
Whoa. So you can see where the design from the collectors comes from then. them how many have we lost Ooh. Raider forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life parts uh third of our people alert broadside bulkhead cannot be sealed hostiles detected and all forces to the north. Where accent? <laughs> they really tried to hold off the Reapers as well. I think I can duplicate that to open the life pod. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video and how they sealed the life <laughs> Don't care about their details, Liara. Whatever. Perfect. Then we just need the signal they use to activate stasis mode. Okay. So we need to find another pod data. Okay. What's up here? It's all went a bit quiet for my liking. Oh no. They were gunned down while having drinks and watching the game. Awful. Son of a bitch, this was somebody's home. Oh, James is not taking anything. Oh! Oh, they threw a smoke grenade at me? Why? see anything oh Jesus sneak attack A turret get rid of it oh but damn it A good little roll there. Sausage roll. Does my shockwave reach that far? Nope. Got it. Okay, let me go get this pod data. I haven't got any ammunition left. Uh oh. There we go. Find some. Cerberus is studying it to find the stasis deactivation signal. Where, oh, where, oh, where is the data? Okay, here we go. More visions. We didn't really do have much visions in Mass Effect 2, did we? I thought this was old news. Like them, they're cool. I never thought our empire would fall. It won't. We will sleep here until the Reapers return to dark space. Wow. And we will rise a million strong. For the Empire. For the Empire. Get to your stasis pod. Oh god, I don't know. We want to bring back the Empire. Victory. Broadcast the stasis readiness signal to all life pods. And the refugees. What's will victory? Get to reach the bunker. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire. Are we going to end up having to do something similar? 
are we gonna have to fight like so this is more protheans having to fight collectors and collectors are protheans that the reapers have like changed that one too yeah so i wonder are we I'm gonna, gonna have to end up fighting to mode. human reapers Excellent. then we have everything we need to open the pod backup forces are here uh-oh Nicely, Ara. Queen, Queen. Get into hiding, Shepard. A grenade! We need to get back to the pod, I believe. Can we go through this house? Ooh, there's dead people in here. Did I do that? Whoa! Whoa, holy moly. Can I do anything with that? Nova? Oh, I think I, a little bit, my range is off for Nova. I need my grenades back, man. What have you done with them? Why are you turning your back to me, sir? Your shield is no good if you turn your back to me. God damn it. We need to get the turrets away. Got one. Come on, James, you got this. Okay. Let's get back to the pod. They've retracted the bridge. We have to find another way oh, across. God damn it. They've retracted the bridge. Liara's just giving us composition all the time, isn't she? What do we do now? Over that way somehow, maybe? Oh look, we can probably go down here. Drop. Yeah, girl. Woohoo! Forward flip, why not? Up here? And up here? Are my team with me? Where's James? Got it. Don't think I can jump all the way down there. Kila Selai. Woo! Down this ladder? Whee. Okay, now we can wake up our new friend. I'm transmitting the signal. Oh shit, we're gonna do Perfect. it straight here. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. Hold the line, everyone. Lots of bogeys inbound, Commander. Oh, I wish I had my sniper. If I had my sniper, I would be killing it right now. I don't think my pull will work from this far away. Okay, Liara, all good. Here they come. <laughs> that singularity is just fucking them all up. Oh shit, I have no ammunition. Shit. Liara, give me some ammunition. Give me some ammo. I'm gonna have to go get some ammo. Got them. man was here i could use an ice pack <laughs> has the life pod ended stasis mode we're almost there if anybody's low there's a cerberus supply cache in the building next door i can lay down a singularity to block enemy access nice the team have a plan i'm here for it i don't need to do anything heavy mech don't let it get close oh god no i only have my little weapon everyone 
I don't know if anything's gonna work on this. shooting me. What are you doing in there? Whoa! Come on, we're so close to killing it. Shit, no ammo. Shit. Ammunition. You guys got any over here? Ammunition, ammunition, ammunition. Help, help, help. Here we go. Find some. There. You can open the life pod now. Okay, we're done. Phew. Wake up, new friend. Wow. I hope he's all right. Oh, oh my it. God. Goddess. Don't fight us. We're friendly, 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 friendly. It may take him some time to fully regain consciousness. Friendly, friendly, friendly. Grit teeth. How long has it been, he says. <laughs> no! We're friendly! Be wow. careful, he's confused. Is he gonna be able to understand me? <gasps> Great music, oh my god! Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been a few minutes. No, the bunker is falling. Wow. There is no other option. There are pawns online. Those soldiers are still alive. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire. Preparing neutron bombardment. Get to your life pod now. Is that the only life pod left? Holy moly. So to him, it's literally like he's just got in that and now he's waking up. Go to sleep. The bunker is secure. Commander Javik. Javik. What is left of it? A few hundred people. How am I to rebuild an empire from that? Further adjustments may be necessary. The neutron purge compromised the facility. Clarify. Sensors are damaged. Automated reactivation is not an option. Oh, so he's just gonna have to wait for someone to wake him up. In stasis until a new culture discovers this bunker. Wow. This may lead to a power shortage. That's us. Do not shut off more pods. I need the few that are left. Power needs will be triaged appropriately. You will be oh. the voice of our people. Wow, that's a big responsibility. I will be more than that. I feel a bit scared of him, to be, to be honest. How many others? Zero. Just you. Oh, it's horrible. <sighs> you can understand me? Yes. Now that I have read your physiology, your nervous system, not to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing... Our last moments. No. Our failure. No, it wasn't a failure. I need this guy to be my friend. Your people did everything they could. They never gave up. And I could use some of that commitment now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. 
Asari. Human. I am surrounded by primitives. How does he know? It's not safe here. Will you join us? New crewmate? You fight the Reapers? Mm -hmm. Yes. Then we will see. Wow. He doesn't shake hands. Must not be part of their culture. A living Prothean. That's correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I hope so. To find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. God, let's go speak to him. Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way. They have guns outside. What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. What? Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a Who's new this? species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. Wow. But he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. I do want to be careful, but at the same time, I think we need to trust him. At ease. I don't think our guest will be a problem. If he wants to fight Protheans. He's our ally. Will he? That depends on you. Fair. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. No. What do you mean, you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. So we're it like connected in some ways. way. Like your beacons. Liara knows so much about these yes. people. We did, we did warnings. see it on Eden Prime. Why won't they heed it? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers? You they won't listen to me. It's Commander, and nobody could understand your warnings. The beacon nearly killed me. <sighs> then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Yep. Now we have your plans for the device. We're going to build it. Device? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. It looks like it's got legs. We never finished it. Oh. It was too late. We can you can help us now. And I take it you don't know anything about the catalyst. No. Damn. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art, killing. What was your mission? Among my people, there were... Well, this voice is amazing. ...of many traits. Bravery, strength, cunning. A single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. Wow. I am the anger of a dead people. Demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. The embodiment the of vengeance? Destroyed, will my purpose <laughs> be fulfilled? <laughs> have no other reason to exist. Holy shit. Okay, you're like the perfect teammate then. That's Those so who badass. Share my become allies. Those who do not become casualties. I agree. Then I'd say you found an ally. 
The goal of this ship is to wipe the Reapers from existence. But how far are you willing to go to achieve that goal? I do not believe you, Commander. Lying is a biological marker. There is doubt behind your words. We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Oh, cool. Could it help us with the device? No. It contains only pain. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die will be the last voice of the Protheans sending them to their grave. If you don't Whoa. mind, I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Here it comes. <laughs> I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. Asari have finally mastered writing. Oh. I'm sorry. Never mind. What do you wish to know? <laughs> Oh my goodness, we Okay, oh my god, we have a lot to learn. So tell me about your civilization. Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have? And can you tell me about your religious beliefs? Look how excited the... she is. What does it matter? I'm sorry. Studying your history has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. Jesus. What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Prothean. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. Oh, let's ask about slavery again. Are you saying you enslaved the other species? Any could oppose us if they wished. And if they had won, they would have ruled. Fair, Many I tried. guess. None succeeded. I had no idea Protheans were so... severe. It was by necessity. Very early we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? No. For a time, the Metacon War. We were turning the tide until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago in ways we could never imagine. God, this is a big lore dump, isn't it? So we did Prothean Civilization. Okay, let's talk about the sensory ability. I've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people, imparting experience through touch, the chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. That sounds very useful. We evolved as <laughs> Bless Liara is so excited. The details in our environment ensured our survival. That's the beacons. We need to understand the beacons a bit more. Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. Information could be stored in certain objects through touch. Memory has its own biomarker, its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Things like Reaper invasions. Yes, I can still sense the turmoil in you, witnessing the extinction of our empire. I don't like this sense thing he keeps our bringing up. Our being was forever marked that day. It was, yeah. So, could you read something about this room? There was liquid, a form <gasps> of incubation. The DNA of a Krogan who lived here. He was powerful, prone to violence. My baby. I'm impressed. His name was Grunt. And if he were my enemy, I would have given him a wide berth. I love that. There is great strength in his genes. If he were my enemy, I would have given him a wide berth. That's hilarious. <laughs> He's talking about my baby. What's the mission then? Back on Eden Prime, it looked like there were other stasis pods. What happened? The Empire had fallen, and we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard, the best soldiers left alive. 
So more of you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire... And now he's by himself. Arisen. That's so sad. You would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, betrayed us. And the Reapers discovered our plan. So what if it had worked? Would you be colonizing us Just right now? out of curiosity, how would you have commanded us? By leaving you no other option. You would have joined our army or faced the Reapers alone. We've uncovered quite a few Prothean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, wow. we cultivated species who showed potential. Eventually, you would have been offered a choice to join the Empire. But when the Reapers attacked, we ceased all study. We hope they would see you as too primitive to harvest. Well, thank you. I, th I think. I think. <laughs> so we've done these three. Let's ask about the war. What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Centuries? Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. We met Vigil. Oh my god, yes. Several years ago, we found a Prothean VI that called itself Vigil on the planet Ilos. He was the caretaker of a research project. During my life, Ilos was only a rumor. It was said we had cities there, built on the ruins of a civilization before us, the Inusanon. Inusanon. If our scientists did have a research facility, whatever they were doing was secret. Yes, Vigil said they wiped all traces of themselves from the records so the Reapers couldn't find them. The scientists eventually went into cryogenic stasis. Uh-huh. More of my people survived? No. But they did stop the Reapers from taking control of the Citadel in this cycle. It delayed their invasion. Oh, he sounded the sad Citadel. there. It was captured long before I was born. How did you fight them? How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system, planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed. It seemed, they seem so huge. Like, I don't know how down. we fight them. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated. The collectors. Converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. So why did you lose? Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? What had been our strength... Our empire became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, oh. one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. So it's good the to have a diversified force. Confused. Then it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. That's positive. It may be your only hope. And lastly, what about the device? Is there anything more you can tell us about this device your people were trying to build? We heard only stories. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. She okay, big lore exposition dump over. <laughs> Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Amusing? Oh. <laughs> to discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Solarians. The lizard people evolved. The lizard people? <laughs> I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. He's just baffled that we are, uh... Commander. That we've evolved so much. I am known as Javik. Javik. Though I still need time to recover. The shock has not worn off yet. I understand. This must be a hell of an experience for you. We're just glad to have you aboard, Javik. Oh, wow! <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, some people were asking me before stream, like, who do you think is going to be the next crewmate? And Prothium was not on my bingo card whatsoever. So that's a pretty cool way to start the game. And he lives where Grunt used to live. Oh, my child. That's where we're going to leave it for today. 
in the next one, we will go and save the Turian Primarch. So we'll see you then. Thank you.